What's up, guys? This is the Rifleman, and I am back to bring you to the end, the, the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Bavaria and likely the end of my army because I pushed them up to Esfahan too aggressively, and now they have been isolated and will likely be destroyed by this massive Persian army. But not before we do as much damage as we can to them. So let's take them out. We have multiple armies behind us, ready to continue the advance and follow up with whatever damage that we do here with greater death and destruction uh, <laughs> with their uh, with their weapons and tactics and so on. Bit of a weird sentence there. Um, but anyway, the, the point is the this army may be lost, but they will suffer massively in their pursuit of our destruction and that will be something our follow-up armies can take advantage of. So let's get ready. Not a bad area to defend. So we're probably going to mount a bit of an all-round defense, kind of. So split our gunners up something like this. Until we get a better handle on... Well, we don't know quite where the enemy reinforcements are coming in from. They could come in from right behind us, which if they do, you know, GG. But... We will try and make it not come to that. Oh, I nicked one of my infantry units. Okay, you go here. Grenadiers in line. Our Jaegers are going to drop stakes ahead of us. Got a union of Grenadiers in a bit of a defensive role. Got my cavalry. Got my howitzers. And my general. Sorry, Sigismund. You are very likely for the chop. longer they take to come at us, the sooner we get to the end of turn timer. Some unit of Ahadi. You both engage those heavy cavalrymen. You begin to engage the Kizobashi. How it's the flying round shot from max range. Nothing's in range yet. When it is... I mean, this is going to be tough. You guys should be able to engage... Yeah, you, sh you should already have been engaging them. That heavy cavalry, that's a very valuable unit to take out. If you can get any hits. The mortars have left their guns. I do wonder if, unironically, the, the actual correct move is to attack the city and then attack the city and then uh, use that as our defences. Maybe. Okay, any heavy cavalry we can take out while they're forming up, you know, that's really good for us. You're engaging those Kizilbashi, which is good news. You're engaging. I mean, speeding up time just because otherwise. Well, right now, it's just my artillery engaging the enemy. But yes. We'll get a glimpse of where the reinforcements are coming in from, from where these garrisonmen. When these garrisonmen route. Okay, 
Okay, there's the heavy cavalry. Down to 76, that's good news. Shrapnel range isn't great. Now it's a fire will do. But as soon as we can fly a quick line, we're going to want to be firing quick line. As soon as we can fire a shrapnel shot, we're going to want to be firing a shrapnel shot. So let's try spread out our artillery fire because right now we're all focusing on this one unit. Good. Hit him with shrapnel. Missed. Missed. Put some grenadiers out on the right flank. Howitzer on this flank. Quick climb. Shot. Shot on shot. This should be good. Oh, straight through. Thirty six cavalrymen left. Keep firing shrapnel shot because they're not actually quite close to you yet. Canister shot. Yours will be shrapnel shot. Okay, let's take another unit of cavalry, get them out on the flank. Unit of Hillman, you can hit them. Excellent. Chase them down just to make sure they are shattered. Same with you guys, don't do not engage. Yeah, don't do not kill them, just shatter them. Shatter them. The edge of the map's quite close. Here comes enemy Ahadi. Get ready to engage them. Switch to canister shot. Engage human canister shot the 47. Actually, you canister shot the armed populace because they're right here. Lancers are a bit caught out, which try and bring them back to my line. See, there's the dervishes that have come back. Shatter them, keep hitting the Kizobashi. You might hit the armed populace. My 
howitzers attacking targets to the rear. You just run straight back, they're pursuing you. Trap my shot because of flashy. Okay, I have to push my horse guards in. Retarget my howitzer fire. Again, against targets that are currently further out. Keep attacking the Israeli. They're trying to form a square. Cease fire. Withdraw. Okay, let's re target my quick fire, quick line firing howitzers over on the right flank. I think I can limber up this gun team. Deploy up a bit, take these two units and have them as a bit of a firepower reserve. The enemy's coming in from back here, so now at least we can try and destroy them one at a time. Close enough canister shot, so switch to canister. Keep my howitzers fighting, firing over on the flank. One of you is going to have to hit the hillman, he's got to keep picking us off. Good. Blast him! Shattered, they're not coming back. Engage the 45th. So you men are going to chase off Feline, I suspect. The 16th Grenadiers. When they're in position. Make ready. Aim. Last volley. There they go. Two men switch to round shot and attack the jump's bodyguard. You men stay firing shrapnel shot and engage this order. Unlimber the guns. Switch the guns to round shot. Get them to engage the general's bodyguard. They might be massing their troops for another overall attack, but that's good. The longer they take to mass... I mean, you're going after the 159th, but that's not going to work out super well. to engage the general's bodyguard. How about you? You'll be gone soon. There they go. Good. 
speed up time. So all my guns fire as one cohesive unit toward the Camo Nomads. Although they don't want to, uh, they don't want to play that game. General bodyguard. Oh, I mean, they're scampering around, but yeah, they're going to get within. They're going to get within range, sure enough. Lancer guards are going to dart out. So you have an enemy gun team on the horizon. Climb the horsemen. Where's my hussars? You can get out. Have a go. Oh, they're going to try and pursue my light horse, which is fair enough. Should get hit by shrapnel from this regiment of artillery. There they go. How it says. Okay, that's unfortunate. One enemy army is coming in directly in the flank. Just give them orders to keep foot climbing. No, come on. I suppose it was a bit. It was a bit bold to push them out with so many camels around. I don't know why you're forming column. going to make my guys break yet yeah, from that volley of carbine fire. Quick climbing howitzers. Make sure you split your fire. Redirect my camel, my artillery fire. Well it's probably worth taking this gun giving them a target of the 24 pounder foot artillery. Yeah, one of you attack the Indian mercenaries, another attack the shooter of Israeli. Bring my Lancer guards back into the line. You're actually, they're actually running across the front, so they are becoming more more reasonable for my Ooh, excellent hits. But yeah, howitzers attack wherever the nearest troops are coming in. You may keep attacking the camel nomads. There's a large concentration over here that don't really want to... Oh, they are. They're just taking their time. You've got to hit the levee. There's just so many of them. They should focus on the mercenaries because they're the closest to... Routing. And 
Cannibals coming in. Oh, that's what the stakes are for. I'd rather you not waste them, but... I'd rather my artillery do the work. The more kills I get with artillery, the less I have to get with my infantry and their finite amount of ammunition. Oh, that should be a good quick climb hit. They're going to form square. They are going to form square. Shrapnel shot, man. Actually, you know, you go for a levy. You, you will go for this unit. Then you will go for this unit. Howitzers will go for the strongest units. I mean, the thing is with the, the shrapnel shot is your the guns just fire so fast. That's the thing to bear in mind there. The guns just <laughs> do so much damage. Okay, now they're pushing. Sure, we keep attacking relevant units. Although I would like you to keep going for the camel guys, because camels are frustrating. At least with these guys, they do fire. They fire by rank drills. With a shrapnel shot, you can get lots of good kills. Shrapnel shot's about to go off. Good kills. Two more shots coming in. Miss. Another good set. I think you got to go for the Kizilbashi that are up front now. I think they are trying to... They're trying to form up. Okay, go for the camel gunners because they can do damage to my cavalry quite easily. that are close. I mean, I know there's definitely a debate to be had between canister and shrapnel at close range, but it feels like shrap it feels like canister at close range is more consistent. Good quick climb hits. can switch to shrapnel shot and go after the camel nomads. You guys retarget the camels. Good stuff. Howitzers can't really attack anyone useful except for the camels over there. I'm still so tempted to go after them with shrapnel shot, but I kind of have to. Now I definitely can. Come 
more camel gunners. Ooh, excellent quick climb hits. That's why I don't ever want to be without quick climb. Especially when units like these dervishes start to get within range at long range. Hack them. It's all about target management. You can't shrapnel those are Sorelli yet, but you can hit them with a round shot. You can't shrapnel anyone yet, but you can target animals with a round shot. There we go, so now we've got these dervishes are getting some experience. Have artillery fire against them and they have some artillery doing shrapnel shots so well there I think what I'm probably gonna do is you guys are gonna hold your fire make sure I retarget my stuff because my cavalry is gonna deal with them Focus your fire all on those Israeli. They are melee troops, but they are iffy melee troops. They do not take very kindly to being attacked and killed by heavy cavalry, for instance. There we go. Shattered, so come back. Come back and walk. Get your stamina back. Retarget. Oh, you guys are just about to be in target. Where's this gunner? Engage the foot artillery. That might be worth a. Crazy cavalry charge. Or it might be worth just getting all my guns, switch to round shot, and bombard the foot artillery for the time being. They do have some more artillery being brought up, but it's going to take its time to get over here. Now my howitzers keep attacking for now. they've got targets against some of this infantry because they've already managed to snipe one of my gun crews although I don't think I really can let them get away with it oh I, I can let them get away with it but I don't want to Right, what I'm going to do is... Lance a guard, this mother. Because my main thing is I can't let their... I can't let them def or destroy my gunners too easily. Good quick line hits. We don't have to do anything with you yet. We managed to... Okay, the gunners are routing under concentrated artillery fire, so let's pull our... cavalry charge back. Let's focus on their camels with our shrapnel fire. They caught us. 
boy square until you no longer need to. Keep chasing them off. Good quick climb hits. I mean, this is going to be the whole episode. I expect fighting off this cluster. Go for the camel mercenaries. Coming in, the 24th are going to make ready. Maybe engage them with canister shot. Shaken, wavering. You missed. Switch to shrapnel, engage the infantry concentration. come back so this is what I was talking about um, <laughs> I really just don't want them to get to my line at all because I would much rather engage them with my artillery at range very much my preferred method of operation I'd like my gun is to actually with foot artillery to focus on the enemy that's currently here and my howitzers to focus on the enemy coming in. So you've done your job. Oh, okay, the artillery needs to go after the second. Last artillery against the second Topu. Topku. Ideally, I'd, I'd like to be cleaning out their infantry about now, but needs must. Ooh, kill some of camels. Ah. retarget my howitzers against their blocks of conventional infantry. Okay, my Lancer Guard can be deployed. Retarget my guns. My lancers can get to the artillery well enough. I'm ex I can accept loss of them as well. I mean, look at it. Just look at the battlefield. Just, the ground is just littered with dead. Yeah, camel nomads, you can't outrun me. Sure the howitzers are targeting the infantry cluster. Coming in. Excellent hits. See if you can clear out before the camels show up. Just shatter them. Then my camels, my my cavalry, just gun it straight back to the line. Switch to canister. Nope, not necessary. Switch to shrapnel. Keep engaging. Howitzers engage the twenty fifth. Pull my infantry back because I don't want them to be shooting. Push 
push up my heavy cavalry. So let's retarget my howitzers. Can't get those guys coming in yet. Smash them. It's the new guy's target. Because a bash unit's coming in. The camels caught us. Or I ran into them, one or the other. Let's run straight through our line. And there's Kizilbashi broken. Come back. Drop new targets down. Good, good, good. You can hit the camel name match there, that's good. More artillery in the distance. And this is they're firing high, but they might oh they were landing about here, so they might they could have got some kills on the infantry behind them. As well. Actually, you know, keep attacking the Israeli. Quick line coming in. Misfire. Good hit. Keep engaging. Set the canister shot. Push up. Oh, okay, you guys attack the camels, so you guys stop attacking the camels. You guys pull back a little bit to ensure a clear field of fire. I mean, we're holding on. I, I'm, I am curious about when they're going to run out of men. Because we've done quite a good job at repelling them, but they're still coming in. Trapper shot's good. Broken. Okay. But yeah, you can see. I mean, look how much ammunition my guys already have still, and they've not even really done much fighting. Not really, they haven't. Still got a good, a good chunk of enemy units coming in, but my God, we'll have, if if we do die, we'll have made them pay for it. Okay, so you can now attack the twenty second. This regiment can't attack anyone yet. Actually, you may attack the twenty second. You may attack. When you're ready, you will attack the 52nd. Okay, there we go. Get back to dropping shrapnel fire into this new enemy concentration. Because they aren't stopping still more and there's still more and there's still more artillery god just leave us alone we just want to conquer your territory in peace look how many dead i mean because you know none of this is are these none of these guys are mine all my men have been sat back here you 
missed. We got a few in the rank behind, or the unit behind at least. So you're going to be run out of ammunition soon and have to be swapped out. Grenadiers, actually you guys shouldn't be firing at anything. Come on, quick climb. You're the great equaliser. Hit him, hit him. Quick climb, go after the stronger units in the rear. General's bodyguards are gonna soak up some musket fire. You've got to push out and attack him. I don't mind if my gunner's crews run away. What I don't want is for them to kill my gun crews. Okay, form line. You got camels to kill. Gunners, re engage. You know, don't charge straight into them. Soften them up with a bit of shrapnel fire first. Engage! You might even fire shrapnel shot, even though it's real close. smack into the Kizobashi because they don't deal with cavalry charges very well. They can't form square. Their, me their melee attack isn't terrible, but they can't form square, so they are more limited in how they can defend themselves. Quick claim attacks against the units that are coming in. Shattered, good, pull my cavalry back. Keep engaging. The enemy cavalry's coming up. They're charging through their own men. Charge my cavalry in. Hello there, cavalry's wavering already. Pull it back. Shrapnel shot on that unit of Kizobashi. Push up my light, some line infantry to fill in the gaps. Keep engaging. General's bodyguard go out wide. You men charge the Kizobashi, you men have hit on that unit. You men form up, withdraw the 160th. It's another enemy mass attack routed. You men hit the 30th. Switch the fire into the center. Make sure the quick climb is attacking targets in the center. Mow down another unit of Kizobashi. 
General's bodyguard, hit the levy, grenadiers, make sure you're attacking the levy. Pull the cavalry back. Trap no shot. Actually attack near targets. Howitzers engage. Still men coming in. Good ideas, pull back. General's bodyguard, pull back. You men fire will on. Commit the cavalry against the third. Starting to pick us off of their artillery now, that's going to become more of a problem. Keep engaging. So, you men, luckily, you're exhausted, and again, my guys are tired. say that we've got a lot of enemies routing at once so it may end up being all we're going to do is just create a big block of enemy units coming in at once see you men withdraw and form up Cavalry back. Still got my Jaegers. They've got a reasonable amount of ammunition left. You men form square. Fire at will. No, we're not going to form square. Fire at will on. Jaegers take position. It is charge the levy. Okay, line infantry be line infantry is replaced in the line by my skirmishers. Engage the Kizilbashi. I do wonder if that's the end of this army. So we might only have the dregs of this army coming in now, hopefully. You're also out of ammunition, so we need another unit of Jaegers. Engage the Kizilbashi! These guys have ammunition left, so we're not completely high and dry yet. One of my gunners has got bugged. You're going to limber up. You're both going to limber up. direct our firepower a bit more. So I'm hoping we aren't that far off in the end of the battle because we propelled quite a lot of men. Push, 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 push the cavalry up. Just keep on engaging with whatever you can, whatever you got, we need it. These gunners are in position, that'll help. Just there we go. 
So you're, you're out of ammunition. You're going to hold your position because your job is going to effectively be to just uh, <laughs> provide a speed bump and for some them to shoot at something else that isn't my guns. It's effectively your job now. Still, uh, oh God, they're still coming. Well, all I've got to do is survive six more minutes, and then the timer runs out, and we win. <laughs> Just don't stack it at this final juncture. And limber. Engage, engage. I'm not going to commit my cavalry in as a time-wasting distraction until I need to. So you might engage them. Still coming. I don't think they're going to have enough time. Although we're going to be running out of ammunition pretty rapidly. Again, straight back up again. Keep hitting them, do as much damage as you can, buy as much time as we can, because they, they they attacked us. So yeah, they should be the ones. They're gonna be the ones who suffer if we're still alive in five minutes. Force them back. That's all we need. You may go after the 29th order. Some retreats. Again, we're not looking to win, just retreats. Retreats will do. them back. No, no, hit the units coming in. Come on, how it says. You can do it. Hit them. Keep on hitting them. Okay, cool. My cavalry knocked out another unit, so withdraw them. These men have got no ammunition. Oh, not often. It's really not often I uh, resort to looking at the clock and going, am I going to win? Am I going to win? Am I going to win? And my skirmishes are getting ready. You'll have to engage the 27th right in front of you. Camel mercenaries not so bothered about. You'll have 
have to get stuck in two and a half minutes. Charge in. You've got to, you can't take more. We can't let these guys run around doing what they like. Fine, hit the 44, before they fire. We've run out of ammunition. Charge. You're going to charge. You men are going to not stay in square. You are also going to attack. You are going to shrapnel center. Oh, my cavalry got quick lined. Big implications there. Push these men down the hill. There's my general, he's gonna have to get stuck in. Because Obashi are doing okay. My infantry are holding on. One minute. If I can hold on for one minute. I think we should be able to. Limber up my guns, form a, a defensive melee line. Charge the Kizobashi on the flank. I think actually they might be nearly done as well. That's like their last. their last concentration of enemy troops as well i think yeah there's no one else coming in so what they've got on the field is what they've got some skirmishes hold fire push on attack the 35th these guys can't shoot they're all just they're basically pikemen sat here waiting but i think oh Stuff like this. Victory! It were damn right. The first time ever. Heroic. When they actually mean it. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> oh. So we lost about half our army. They lost more than half their army. It's about a 10 to 1 kill ratio. Back you go. I mean, now is when they run in another army, and suddenly, oh no, we're actually, they're gonna, now they're gonna kill us. But that army is gonna pull out rapidly. They are not gonna stay there. They've done great. They've done really good. So they're gonna get the hell out of Dodge. They managed to help, hold on remarkably well. And this is why I like having lots of artillery in my armies, because they really do save you. Okay, you go over here. So you, you are out. You're replenishing. You men are going to get in to bolster the front. Then you men are going to raid the university. You're going to scout out east of the city. You're going to go, you're going to keep going your northern route. I think you guys can probably stand to leave Astrakhan. You can. You men are punished. I'll give you an order just to run straight along the northern road. And to be honest, that's probably a really bad idea because it's going to take, it takes them up to the pink turn to get to there. I suppose technically it might actually be the quickest, I guess. Oh well. Push on. All these guys still have orders to advance. Can you guys leave Crimea, Franz Lauter? 
minus seven. This garrison army can hold Crimea. You should not need all that extra time. Give them an order to push forward. Because there's a lot of things that need building in Russia. Well, the Ru formerly Russian territory. Just do it this way, it's easier. Keep on upgrading. So we need to, well, I need to push men through the Middle East rapidly so I can bring the homeland of the Mughal Empire under threat. Upgrades here. And now we're into Cuba or the Americas, which, to be honest, I have neglected some. Actually, no, let's not upgrade stuff in the Americas yet because I am going to be spending a good amount of time over there anyway, in due course. Got a new agent here, but I'm not going to need it. Good, good, good. Right. So these are the men. Oh no, you're going to um, Munich. So these are the men they are going to kick off our invasion of America. Oops. So let's get going. You can... Oh, you can't get there in one hop. So sail you over to Belfast. You can sail to Belfast and then hop over next turn. You recruit a militiaman to hold Belfast. I suppose that's part of the problem about you recruiting light galleys. Then you chaps can sail up to Bergen. Although... If you embark your army... And I embark you on this fifth rate. Yeah, you can get out there. Let's get to it. Very well, so that means you guys. If I disembark you guys in Belfast. And then send one of my sloops in. I'm back you. Get over there. Nice. That's two armies sent over. Maybe get a third sent over. Come on. Yes, yeah, you can just make it. So a galley rather than a light galley can do it. In one go. I mean, you guys don't want light galleys. You may end up getting recruiting or getting fifth rates across. So let's get four. Uh, no, you're more than that. Something like that. So this is the force that's going to invade India from the east. They're going to land in Calcutta. Uh, you are also going to join them. You are going to 
also join them. To be honest, I think in America you don't really need a huge amount of armies anyway. Well, I mean, you can use them for sure, but it's not really what you need exactly. Okay, cool. Your town emerges in Benghazi. Can't do anything about that because everyone that can is already on the move. Everyone that can be is already on the move. Cool. Trait gained, Corporal and Gold Braid, Sissigmund. Sig I'm expecting to get more than that. Catholic Missionary in Azerbaijan. Finally, starting to get Catholic Missionaries. Push on to Kabul. These are going to be good Catholic people here. You, oh, you can't get into Esfahan, but you are already converting. Let's see that in turn. Let all my armies and everyone else that currently have orders to advance. Including a terrible amount of spies. Watch out 13 colonies. There's a whole world of hurt coming your way. So it looks like they're re-establishing their defences in the capital. They've dispersed an army in the north, but they're going to have a lot of issues because they're going to have a <laughs> they're going to have a, a whole bunch of uh, European troops storming through the corpses right towards them. Pirates are going to be a pirate. Scouts, no, you couldn't get to where you wanted to get to, so your orders fell apart. Benghazi and Elat. Good, some top tier buildings here. So Benghazi, already got a church school. Here, I have a craft workshop. Excellent. There's no much upgrading. So new port emerges, several more, in Karelia. Yeah, I have a trading port. Military tech, percussion shells, they're okay, they're not super useful. Ufa and Bashrika. Make sure you're going top tier kit. Top tier farms. Mostly it's the roads, just make sure we're building better roads across the board. Got a lot of troops storming. They're uh, going to be storming through the Middle East. So you put Esfahan under siege. You may have to deploy north. You're going to pull out of where you are and head north. We just don't want any of these guys to slip through the nets. You can push south on the road. And you head east. You're not fully not replenished yet. I should use my priest to get some more visibility on what's on the southern road. Yeah, there's a couple of armies that got smacked in the previous engagement. Lots of fleets arriving, so let's quickly deal with them. Just auto those rebels in Newfoundland. Leopold Isler or Eisler. Yeah, keep a Jesuit. Oh no, you're hundred percent. Yeah, you're hundred percent Catholic, so get rid of that. Fleet arrives. So let's go for the Inuit nations. I mean they've definitely got Ooh, interesting. They've got a, it's a grand native alliance. Screw it. Come on. Come at us. They've got a large army hidden somewhere else, because that's definitely not everything they have. 13 colonies joined them. Quebec did not join them. So you may end up landing in North America. There we go. 
You only have ships, but you can sit in there. Hello, full 13 colonies army. Well, nearly full. Interesting. So we've dealt with all the fleet has arrived. Workers on strike in Crimea. Not anymore, I hope. Nope. You've run out of your orders. Just keep giving people orders just to run down into the Middle East in general. You've run, I think it's when they walk in, when they run into people, they stop. And but rather than do another load of upgrading and so on, we're going to fight this battle and take the city of Esfahan away from the Persians. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the capture of the Persian capital. Thanks, everyone.